It's been three years since we did the first video on the Turbo X, and since then, this particular unit has been thousands of miles off road shows, unlimited amounts of airline traffic, dozens of trade shows and events, and unlimited numbers of miles in overhead bins on airlines, all being carried around in the included carry case over my shoulder. But since then, hardware has evolved. And while the chassis is the same, what goes in it has changed. So I thought it might be a good time to readdress the new advances included in the Turbo Elite. Let's take a look at some of the I.O. The base Turbo Elite has eight 12G SDI I.O. A typical configuration would be as six inputs and two outputs, or you could also do seven inputs and one output, or all eight as inputs. These two are Genlock, and um, optionally below it, there are four balanced audio ins, four PoE for powering PTZ cameras or Scarhoy controllers, and then there's a 10 gig uh, network, Ethernet port. Um, up here is three display ports for connecting to external monitors. This is being driven by an A5000, which is a high performance uh, quadro card. The nice thing about the quadros is they have unlimited uh, encoding capa capacity. So that, that means you can have more SRTs, you can have more multicam uh, records, more RTMP encodes because those are being offloaded um, from the GPU to, uh, from the CPU to the GPU. The next section block is the computer itself. Uh, so there's two network ports, so you can have an internal and external network, a whole ton of USB, uh, USB-C, and then your uh, traditional 3.5 mil audio. And then over on the other side, we have two uh, removable SSD bays. So in case you wanted to um, have record your entire production to a particular SSD and then pop a new one in there uh, at the end. Let's take a look at some peripherals that make a lot of sense to go with the Turbo Elite. If you want to control your Turbo Elite with something besides a keyboard and mouse, there is the optional Switchblade uh, controller. It has 12 program and preview buses and a little slider. Uh, ability to fire off presets and triggers and shortcuts and even communicate with things like PTZ cameras and other devices on your network. However, uh, it's not always that you need 12 inputs. Sometimes you need more. For that, we have the Mega Panel. So the Mega Panel is extensible in different directions. You can make as large a controller as you like out of it. You can make a one stripe or a two stripe. And uh, this particular one has 24 rows of program in preview. But the same is true is that this can be, uh, these other buttons can be used to assign um, the different outputs of vMix or the different mix buses, or even control something like a router from Blackmagic or AJA. So these will communicate with far beyond just vMix. Um, you can trigger your PTZ presets, a variety of other things. So you can build yourself the perfect portable control surface uh, for your live production uh, and your Turbo Elite. Another thing that is really important to consider when um, getting video in and out of your Turbo Elite would be something like this. This is a Yuan uh, HDMI 2.0 to 12G, and how would we use this? Well, this unit has eight 12G SDI inputs, but for example, let's say you had to bring in a 4K HDMI camera or some other 4K HDMI source, like a computer or uh, what, what have you. The other way that this could be used is in the reverse, is that the Turbo Elite has three display ports which can output a 4K signal. So we can take those and we can output them to 12G. So let's say, for example, you need all eight inputs and you don't want to subdivide one of those, you use one of those as an output, you can use the GPU outs to put your program or your multi-view out and convert it to 12G. So you still can reserve that ability to get your program and preview and multi-view to 12G without consuming one of the inputs by use of an additional one of these. So it's a, it, it's a handy box to have because of its ability to help you bring in HDMI sources to your Turbo Elite um, unless you get a, an optional HDMI uh, 
uh, card in it. So those are a few of the things that are, are really exciting that go well with this. There's obviously a lot of other things, but I thought these are kind of key to bring into the, the conversation. If uh, you have any other questions about the Turbo Elite, uh, the control surfaces, um, the HDMI to 12G, or any of the other products, please feel free to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co.